Hi guys, welcome back. It's Laura with Treasure on Paper and I have a ginormous book that I've been working on for a year from July of last year and it's just like a junk, trash, glue book, miscellaneous, whatever you'd like to call it based off of a composition book and I've added some fun details on the front and we have a jewelry aspect on the side. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is all just some deconstructed jewelry. And this, I love this one with this little rose, the butterfly and these little beads. And what I did is I took a necklace, this necklace right here, and I just opened up my book to the middle, clasped it, and it makes a perfect, um, you might hear the puppy in the background. <laughs> Um, and you, it just makes a perfect area to hang things on. I'm probably not the first person who came up with this, but it worked for me because this is what I had. So then I just also added a plain piece of jewelry with these little stars on it. And then this came with the beachy themes here. And I added this Universal Studios Love Keychain and this gorgeous rhinestone heart that was on a necklace and I'm like uh, it's going on here then we have um, some stickers obviously this gorgeous washi it's not washi I keep calling it that this gorgeous glitter ribbon I had it in this green blue to purple pink and a pin like a you would put on your shirt I have a bunch of those some fun stickers. I love pop art, so of course I had to add those on there. And then this enclosure is enclosure. This band was actually a bracelet. I don't know if you remember cuff bracelets. I believe they were in the early 2000s, maybe 2010, 2015, something like that. And of course, I cut it in half. I measured first to see how much room I could give it um, where I would have to have the snaps. So I figured this is where I would put the snaps. I cut it um, opposite, you know what I mean? So this is actually the, the part that clasps on. And yes, I used the E6000 now on the back, which I can't show you right now because that's at the end, the very last page is where the E6000 just yesterday failed. But I can say I probably didn't have it on that great. So I'm going, I have it on with packing tape now. So you'll see that, but let us get right into it. So I basically just put anything in here that I didn't want to throw away, um, whatever. So this was part of a Dollar Tree video that I made where they had like a wall art color in type of thing. So I just was like, let's add that there. A picture of me and my honey. This is a, a print, not a print. I took a picture of one of my glue book pages, stuck it there. And this is a gift card. I just decorated out of, added a sticker a greeting card from my sister. Then I have a uh, Jacksonville baseball ticket. Me and my youngest son went looking for a YouTuber that he follows and we watch too. It's uh, He does a lot of NFL things. So his name is Tom Grassi. If you know him, you know him. And if you don't know him, but you love football, check him out. So last year he did a 30 and 30 NFL stadiums. Um, what do you call it? Tour and met up with fans, his YouTube fans. So that was really cool. He did it all to raise money for charity and he raised a lot of money. Okay. So let's keep that going. This was fun. So this is just like a, a checklist that I wrote for myself. And instead of throwing it away, I just wrote vacay on it. You know, you can do the same thing. If you're needing, you know, more ephemera, you could just make something easily. Uh, with a marker, Sharpie pen. Here's some packaging. I love using packaging. This was from Dollar Tree, so you might recognize this. I think it came with like maybe some bunnies and a deer or something. And then I added the dots and uh, outlined the raccoon. Some 
uh, undergarment, some underwears and PJs, um, tags, Joy Spun at Walmart. Um, this is the softest material ever. I love it. We have some uh, garden, a garden flag Chicago Bears I got for my son. My favorite now and later banana. Oh, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. So yes, and then a little uh, prayer type of thing. Then on this page, it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. I had a bunch of mushroom stickers and this super sweet fairy. Fairies are little getting a little smooch there by the mushroom. A little to-do sticker here. This is a bag from Bucky's that have those uh, candied pecans in them. Oh no, my little my little pineapple broke. So this is a from a stir stick and it had broke. So I'm like, let me put it in here. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of these. We have pineapple, um, flamingos, and cactus. I have the cactus because my daughter and son-in-law live in Arizona. If you're watching, hi, I love you, miss you. Uh, so I'm gonna have to replace it. So, oh well, womp womp. And then inside of this bag, I added a Kennedy Space Center bookmark, which I believe this is, is, um, what do you call it? I believe this is vintage. I found it in an old book, so I'm like, we're gonna keep that. I love space stuff. All right, here, of course, we have some Elmer's glue. You have to put the packaging. If you're a glue book person and you don't have some glue packaging, come on, give it the, I'm totally teasing. I'm kidding. This little thing is an eyeshadow palette and I added some glitter paint to it just to spice it up a little bit. Keep on going, this pretty umbrella. I added a sticker here and then used a Sharpie to go over it. This was from a movie that me and my uh, son went to see and I made the pocket inward so none of the stuff would fall out. And then I just decorated a couple cardboard things with some scraps and wrote XOXO. And then this is some packaging from some fun. I got my son, he loves uh, Japan, so I got him an Asian inspired uh, food box. You know, it comes with like snacks and stuff. So he, I was like, please keep the packaging. So he did. And he's been keeping packaging for me. You'll see some more. You'll see some more. All right, let me put that. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're um, healthy, fine, having a great week. All right, next up, I loved this cassette tape, Hello 80s, and this was one that I got off of a poster. It had like, I don't know, six cassette tapes on it. And here we have an, a very old iron-on patch. And then underneath, of course, we have Snoopy and some crazy purple washi and a gift card. And then a, some fun bling. Here's a big uh, sticker that I just, cut it in half. A strawberry Italian ice. Oh, I need that right now, please. It's so warm out. Here is a Ruby Falls ticket, and this is in Tennessee. I've had this a long time. This is some sticker relief. And then this is from um, a false nail. What do you call it? A press on nails. This is packaging from a box of press on nails and an old, old ATC card, like 2010 of mine. <laughs> anyway, here's some flowers, love it. Favorite mixtape, 1987, yes. Okay, don't wanna skip a page. I love this, this brings back memories. So me and my daughter, she flew in from Phoenix and we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We were there visiting my family. My father was in hospice for eight months. So this was one of our earlier trips that we took and this is just the gift bag. So when you get these, you know, those plastic bags, they do take the glue pretty well. I do need to re-glue this little section down. But, you know, even use those and just use, you know, you could probably use better glue than, you know, the glue that I use, which is the Elmer's glue. And so I just cut it in half and added some little 
you know, doodles here, some stickers, and then I added a cactus to represent my daughter who lives in Phoenix. I've said it like three times already. Um, but yeah, that brings back some good memories. That was a lot of fun. Here we have, since we went to the mountains, I liked this. This came from a flow magazine. Together we can move mountains. Well, climb mountains. We can definitely look at pictures of mountains, you know, come on. Here's me and my daughter here. And then this came from a flow magazine. It was to make a 3D little box, a house, a box house. Yeah, whatever. And this gorgeous paper behind here. So sometimes I would write what month this was going in and it's not necessarily in order a little bit. So that was in September when we were in Tennessee. What do I have? I have a, oh, when I bought stickers and stuff from Anakista. So that's a receipt from that. A fun Hatfields and McCoy dinner feud pamphlet. We did not go to that, but if you want some Southern food, oh yeah. What else do we have? Wonder Works, that's that building. They have one of these in Orlando. So if you ever wanted to go to one of those, you know what it is, it's an upside down house. And then here is the Anakista. Um, this is what it looks like. This is a huge tower that you can go up and you can see all the way around uh, the area there. And they have a lot of fun things to do. I highly recommend going there. And, oh, hold on one moment. It's great. It's great for families, couples, friends. You would have a good time. If you have any questions about my experience there, just let me know. I will be happy to tell you. Oh, me and my dad. I added these. Um, this, these were stickers in here, and I just kept the relief of it, put it down. Really layered the page, and I love you. And another bit of this cactus paper and a little sticker to remind us to keep going and um, a receipt for the parking permit while we were there. That was in August, so actually I'm not really sure where that was at. But I just decorated the back there with stickers. You know, it's, a, it's fun because using like things that you would normally throw out, it gives you a place, if you, if you love stickers, to put some of those small ones that you're like, well, what do I do with it? Just pile them on there. And then I use some packing tape to cover it up, <clears throat> you know, to make sure all the, the stickers stayed on there. Look how cute this is. Next up, here we go, it was August. We have some stickers that I made, a picture of my parents in front of, or near, a picture of my parents in the parking lot of the church that they were married in many, 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 many years ago. And here's another checklist. That was motorcycles going by. There's so many sounds, I'm so sorry. Ice cream wrapper. And then this is from a vacation that my honey and I and my kids and their partners went to. And we stayed at a Sheridan Vacation Club. It was amazing, so much fun, beautiful. And then I hooked it on with this little <laughs> clothespin that I just glued this little smiley face on there. And even something as small as your fortune, what does this one say? A healthy way of living is to be good to your health. Yeah, I should know that. I have a Mickey sticker, this beautiful flower washi, I love that. So yeah, if you're coming to Orlando and you're looking for a really nice place to stay, I would recommend that this location. I don't know, if, I believe we stayed at the Kissimmee location. Yes, we stayed at the Kissimmee location. Huge rooms, huge rooms. And it's like staying in a condo is what it is. All right. Here's the map of the all the condos. I mean, there's a bunch of them there. The resort map. I was trying to say the resort map. First annuals, children, I don't say children, children, reunion. 
and then uh, you know our little information so we have our tickets and stuff like that and I'm sure I'm blocking this out because it has my family on there give them some privacy a little bit of everything like we're going into the fall I have some wiggly eyes some candy corns this is another paper from nails packaging and I went to Ollie's that just opened like 15 well it's a 25 minute drive from my house but uh, they you can get great prices on snacks and all kinds of stuff I had purchased two of these little plastic candy jars with lids they look you know so old-fashioned I love that and a card that my sister sent me it's so pretty some stamps even save your stamps and throw them in your book it's fun oh another what are these called another fortune cookie I almost said fortune cookie another fortune never does nature say one thing and wisdom another mm. oh music I was listening to anytime by Brian McKnight Mbop Hanson Hanson as long as you love me Backstreet Boys Flyway Lenny Kravitz so it was a uh, the music from the now that's what I call music volume one I did I pulled it up on YouTube I'm pretty sure I think so this is where my book I didn't prepare my book but I have learned my lesson so doing a little prep work ahead of time when you know your book is going to be big is very important and either you could use duct well not duct tape you could use packing tape you could use um, masking tape and I'm going to try the tape that you use in a first aid kit it's sort of not gauzy I don't know if you know what I'm talking about anyway when I get some I'll show you all and I heard that that works really well we'll see as long as it doesn't have too much of a texture and I made this in a video and it came out of my pop art book uh, uh, I have several pop art style coloring books and what is this in an organic banana sticker I mean don't throw these things away guys um, a Chili's utensil package here I like this little strip of paper it's just a strip of paper and then when me and my honey went to the Okie Finoki um, swamp and they have some areas that you can drive through it's a refuge so you could see wildlife and stuff it was very hot when we went so they have places you can walk but we didn't do that we stayed in the air conditioner because we're not crazy um, so that's fun to look back on that that was in April so like I said it's a little it's a little out of order but I hope that you get some ideas for your own glue books junk journals trash books whatever um, I hope that me showing you mine gives you some ideas all right look at that pretty paper Jacksonville Jaguars a Bucky's tag and I got a a uh, package of three of these air fresheners and they lasted like I don't know from my drive from Tennessee to Florida that was pretty much it they're very pretty and they're from I don't know the name of the group of ladies they have like a junket and refurbish company that's what it is what do we have here oh a Chipotle sticker all kinds of other things then we have this cute little packaging from a pack of pens that I bought I enjoy writing with the five millimeter um, width pens it just to me is good and when I even use like an eight millimeter pen I'm like this is way too big so these were cute because they had ducks dressed as cows and uh, yeah you just decorated this with some stickers and here's a Ross tag for something I bought I don't even remember does it say no it doesn't say oh we have some packaging and some more packaging so this didn't really stick so good but it's in I mean it's still in there I have a couple of these recycled 
denim pants stickers and here's some more and then my son bought some suits and not suits dress clothes for work and then these are really cute look at that little water bottle there I think that's pretty neat I love the creativity in packaging because we get to use it for our benefit mm -hmm. 